Hey YouTube land, how you guys doing? I hope all is well with y'all. This is actually a collective reading for a Mimi Monday. I know I haven't done them in a while. Um, like I said, just trying to get some things in collaboration, my time, my effort towards other things, you know. Um, once again, you know. Anyways, I love y'all. I hope everybody is being good. Matter of fact, hold on. Is that better? Do you think you can see me better now? I think you guys can see me better. So, if you guys have not checked out my um, love languages readings um, on my YouTube channel, please go ahead and follow my channel. Um, subscribe to my channel. Like the videos. Subscribe. Like, I'm always trying to pull more content. Um, comment with new content for things that you guys would like me to talk about. You know what I'm saying? I might come on a day on her and just post a video about what people would like for me to come on her and talk about. But today, um, it is, I'm going to say November. Woo! Today is September the 19th. So, I want to, no, I'm sorry. Today is September the 20th. Okay? So, I just wanted to come on her and pull some cards for you guys when it comes to your current energy and your energy going into this month. I mean, I'm sorry, this energy going into this week. Okay. And some advice for you guys. Okay. To motivate you guys for Monday and the rest of this week. So first and foremost, your current energy right now, I have a new deck of cards. This is the energy oracle card oracle deck so once again this is your girl spritchy black coming to youtube land with the mimi monday okay motivational mondays okay i haven't done them in a while i just felt like i needed to i don't know i'm feeling like i got some good energy i do so spirit guys angels ancestors for your collective for your mimi monday collective what advice oh no i'm sorry i'm so so sorry what is our current energy right now what is their focus upon right now? Spirit guides, angels, ancestors. What should their focus be upon? Let, 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 let's go ahead and do that. What should your collective focus be upon this week? For the weeks of September the 20th until the 25th. What should your collective focus be upon this week when it comes to their energy? Give me four cards for your collective and the energy that they should be focused upon. The energy that they should be focused upon. Give me one more. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Okay, so I'm going to read them how, how I'm, I'm supposed to read them. Not just from the book, but how I got them right here and how I feel like I'm led to read them to you, okay? Because I know some people, y'all got these decks and they can read upright and they read in reversals. So, um... Your focus this week collective when it comes to your Mimi Monday. Once again, motivational Mondays, but it, it could be for the week as well. Um, the overall message is your second chakra. So that is Archangel Ariel. The overall message, you guys should be focused upon your solar plexi chakra. Now, and if I'm not right, it's either your solar plexi or your sacral. Okay. Um, I am going to read that card to you real fast. So we both can get an understanding. Thank you, Spirit. Spirit really just brought me to the card. I, I love it. So um, your message, like I say, is intimacy and creativity. Um, the second chakra vibrates in the energy of the beautiful angel Ariel. She sends a bright orange energy promoting inspired creativity and greater comfort with intimacy. When this card appears upright, it's urging you to get creative. Wow. So your focus is your creativity. Like once again, meditating maybe upon this energy. Um, what'd she say? Orange? I forgot what that one is. I, I think I don't wanna feel up to you guys. I don't wanna feel up to you guys. Spirit just fed me somewhere else. So. Just let me take because I forgot this solar plexi. Mm. 
Okay, which one is the orange one? I might not. The roots is the red one. Okay, sacral. Okay, so I had it. Sacral chakra has to do with, so the element is water. So maybe the glands is tes 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 testicles and ovaries. So that is where it's located, okay? Between your testicles and your ovaries. But element, maybe meditating like with water, you know, you're just taking spiritual baths, you know what I'm saying? Um, but it has to do with uh, opening up your creative energy at the end of the day. Your focus should be, you know, being more creative. Um, it says this is also a time when the energy of closeness with others and nurturing yourself can flow more freely. You can now open yourself to the emotional intimacy that may be coming your way. So nurture yourself and be ready to receive the affection of the the blah, 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 blah. affection of the resonant souls around you. So I feel like it's like if you don't know what soul tribes is, it's like. As you find completion, you know, maybe with why you on this planet or, you know, completion on healing yourself or, you know, completions of finishing school, anything collective. You know what I'm saying? Spirit, I feel like spirit is saying as you focus on yourself, you work upon yourself, your spirit tribe or whoever, your soul sisters, your students, you know, people that align with you will flock towards you. You know what I'm saying? So maybe you're in the energy of maybe not feeling so creative, maybe due to feeling like you have a lot of things that you have to do by yourself at the end of the day. Take what resonates. Take what resonates, okay? But the first card is, like, say your energy is lacking and stuff, maybe due to a heartbreak, due to things being off balance and shit, right? And it's so funny because I was going to say finding balance. I'm going to show you all the cards. But the first card you have is the broken hearted in the reverse so remember i said what is your focus when it comes to your energy for this this week of september the 20th until the 25th collector that came out in the reverse so it makes perfect example your focus should be on not a breakup you know what i'm saying not a broken heart at the end of the day you know getting over this broken heart at the end of the day you know what i'm saying focusing more on your creative energy instead of energies once again energies that hurt you instead of heal you you know what i'm saying um but let's read it let me just clarify it for you guys the broken hearted and the reverse the broken hearted reverse marks a time of renewal and hope wow it says the pain and trauma are behind you now and you can trust that greater joy is on the way whatever has happened in the past I'm sorry, whatever has happened to hurt you in the past, you're now free to move on. So you are focusing on moving on from that heartbreak, like I say, due to you needing to focus on your creative blockages, you know, things that was blocking you from feeling creative, from you making that move, from you starting that business, from you taking that leap of faith, from you removing that fur. You feel me? From you leaving that relationship at the end of the day, that shit was causing you to be blocked. And now your focus is upon you being creative. Wow, that is so beautiful. Talk to us, Spirit. That's what I'm talking about. Then you have 22, yin, yin and yang. Your focus should be upon balancing it. Because it's funny, you have contract right here. And this contract is, to me, is like the justice card. But once again, found in balance. You feel me? When it, with this weight. But finding, finding balance within your divine and your, I'm sorry, Finding balance within your feminine and masculine energy due to your creative energies, okay? Your creative energies can come from your masculine side, okay? Now, you are probably orchestrating from your masculine more than your feminine. Now, it's just funny because I was just doing a reading, I believe, with Sagittarius or it was either Pisces. I cannot remember, but go check those readings out, okay? But it was saying... The yin and the yang. I'm I'm sorry. Uh, finding balance when it comes to the creative, you know, blockages or whatever. But feminine and masculine, whether you a male or not, at the end of the day, watching this, you feel me? You being a male, you still have feminine energy, and you are needing to learn maybe to tap into that side as well. You feel me? Learning to balance it out. You feel me? Um, your focus once again. Your focus is 
probably if you find in balance between your masculine your masculine and your feminine energy look at it as if you have been orchestrated more from your masculine energy you are needed to look up more how to be more feminine if you have been you know um orchestrating from your feminine energy you need to look up how to be more masculine that's examples you know what i'm saying um you have contract but let me show you the card because i didn't show y'all that card but you have contract so your focus should be maybe upon like certain when i'm picking up contract i'm picking up like if you have some like deals if you have like paperwork if you have like some type of dealings you know like court information anything like maybe like relationships that you have commitment like things with you know what i'm saying um valuables and things like that you know like merges or something like that that's the stuff that you should be focused upon um once again like contracts when it comes to like your business and stuff like that your creative energy and shit you need to be focused upon that as well but let's read it just to make sure once again, please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, comment if the content fits for you, okay? I appreciate all the love and light, all the good affection that you guys give me. Oh, this is number six. Where am I going, y'all? Okay, contract is partnership legal commitments at the end of the day. So this card shows a contract in the background ready to be signed, indicating a com committed connection of some sort. This union may be a business deal, the sale of a home, a new job, or even a commitment and merge. So yeah, like I say, some type of contract that you have with a job, business, you know, with other people, a relationship, you know what I'm saying? That shit you are needing to focus on, you know, that's, that's what your focus or that's what your focus will be on. For this week at the end of the day. Um, whatever the connection. This card is more than a casual agreement. It's usually something that requires a document that's binding. At least for the time being. The scales of justice also indicate that. If a legal action is underway. It is likely to turn out in your favor. That's good news. Right collective? It says this card shines a light on potential new opportunities. So remain aware and receptive to what may be coming your way. Hmm. Hey, creative energy, you know what I'm saying? My leg is itching. And then you have anxiety. Now, I don't know if it, if, if anxiety, have, I think it fell out in the reverse. Because I don't feel like your focus should be upon your anxiety. But maybe when it comes to the anxiety or the energy that you are in, having anxiety, you know, that could be one of your creative blockages. That is something that block is, block it, blocks you from being creative okay and maybe your focus for this week is when you have these anxiety moments you are needing to figure out those trigger moments and why you have those anxiety moments you get what i'm saying what causes you to be anxiety what causes you to be anxious what causes you to feel like you're getting ready to lose your damn top at the end of the day it causes you to block your creative energy keeps you motivated. You know what I'm saying? Let's read that one real quick. And I think I'm, I think I'm, I think that was good. I really do. Really? Okay, here we are. No, nope, that's not it. But then, okay, okay, because I, I just read the reverse. So if it did fall out in the reverse, let me just read it. Because I, like I said, I feel like it did. Um, but I've never seen the card, so I wanted to see it in the upright. But the reverse is saying, family relief. This nightmare of a card reverse could mean one or two things. Either a recent problem is on its way out, causing you to feel more relaxed. Or you have mastered the old habit of worry and have freed yourself from the anxiety within wow so when it comes to this broken heart and everything like i said it's probably could have came out in the reverse and i you know anyways but i feel like i was led to tell you guys 
it in the reverse as well. It says, either way, anxiety reverse is a good omen of more relaxed and peaceful times to come. Maintain a trusting attitude and let the difficulties fur and fur thoughts fade away into the distance. Okay. The affirmation for that card is, I let go of fur and worry, collective. I assume the best and live in peace. All is well, here and now. Okay. So, yeah, like releasing, like that focus of releasing anxiety at the end of the day, learning what triggers you and what doesn't trigger you, you know. And if anything, the shit that was triggering you is no longer triggering you because you're learning how to watch out for that shit you know what i'm saying even when it do come up you you don't let it trigger you it doesn't affect you because now you know what bothers you what doesn't bother you you get what i'm saying so i'm about to get some cards from the spirit animal oracle deck because i missed this deck it's see i know this is my favorite deck okay so what should the collective be doing for this week of September the 20th until September the 25th when it comes to the motivational Monday. Me, me Mondays. What should your collective do for the week? Once again, please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, comment if the content fits for you guys. I haven't did a uh, reading on myself on it, so I just kind of wanted to see what it felt like. So. <clears throat> let's get this reading out to you guys like i said you guys should be getting it in the morning if not y'all should be getting it in the day so what should your collective be doing for the week of september the 20th until the 25th when it comes to like energy spirit guys angels ancestors me me mondays what motivation do you have for them what motivation do you have for your collective give me four chords so we can get on up out of here. I'm kind of hungry, but I think I'm just going to wait to just eat in the morning. Give me four cards for your collective and their Me Me Mondays. What motivates them? Give me four cards. What's, what's, what, blah, blah, blah. what should motivate them this week, Spirit Guys? What should they focus be on? It says trust in the magic, knowing your worth. Y'all know how I am. When I start itching, it drives me insane. Like, I have to itch it. It says, take a time out. Spirit has your back. Look, and then surrender now. And I'm definitely going to go ahead and take that one. Definitely going to go ahead. Because the way that it fell out, I'm not even going to take no overall message. But the first card you have, your focus this week. What you, you what you should be doing, collective, is learning your worth. And say you already in the process of learning your worth, you know. Like I say, you've been through some things, you know. You've been in the process of healing and everything. Now there might be some things that cross you. I'm picking up. Some people might test you, but you are needing to remain knowing your worth at the end of the day. Okay. I just heard frustration. So it could be some things, people coming in and try to frustrate you, throw you off and shit. But know your worth. Know your worth. You knowing your worth allows you to like not take yourself out of that element. You know, not you stooping to other people's level at the end of the day. Cause your worth means so much more than that. Like you know you have some things that you will that you you don't want to lose. You know what I'm saying? Um, you have the white raven spirit. The white raven spirit is telling you, it says, trust in the magic at the end of the day. Remaining calm and cool collected. Being calm and cool collected is magical, okay? You know, especially within these storms, especially within, you know, people coming around to, like I say, pick at you and, you know, want you in the energy of not knowing your worth and shit like that, collective, you know? But you are needing to trust in the magic, you know? Understand that there's things that we do... I mean, I'm sorry, there's things that we don't do that the atmosphere does, you know, rather that being you trusting in God, spirit, the universe, like I say, magic at the end of the day. But you taking that time out to understand, like, damn, things really do happen unexpectedly. Things really do happen when I put out good energy. You know what I'm saying? That's magical when you start to think like that. You know what I'm saying? Um, you have the brown bird spirit. It says, take a time out. This is time for you to reflect on some things. Once again, you got the Mercury retrograde that's getting ready to come about collective. So just know it's going to slow some things down. Oh my gosh. I just feel like something be crawling on me. 
I don't like the feeling, y'all. I can't stand it. That means it's time to go to bed. That's how I look at it. But the brown bird spirit is telling you it's time to take a time out. You know, you could have a lot of things on your mind collective. And right now, those thoughts isn't serving you. It's only driving you crazy. You feel me? Um, you could have a lot of things on your plate. I'm picking up family. You feel me? It's time. This is, this is, you gonna need to take some time out for yourself. And once again, if you are in some, some crazy chaotic ass shit, you know, with people within yourself, take some time out from that. Quit overthinking, you know, quit letting these people have you in this, this atmosphere, in this element of where you have to just constantly keep going, keep going. You have to just keep giving. You have to just keep being or showing up your best part, but they don't show up their best part. Like, it's time to take a time out for that. Like, and then you have fucking surrender it. Let it go, collective. This week, you will be surrendering something, whether it be a person, a perception, a perspective, you know, a mind frame of yours, a, a addiction. I, I, was, I was picking up drug, but I ain't, you know, drug, whatever it is. Or your vice, whatever, take what, whatever it is. But this either what's coming to you, okay, or what you are needing to do. But you will be taking the time out. You will be letting something go. You will be trusting in magic at the end of it. Like I said, you, you'll be looking around and be like, damn, I really am protected. Or damn, I really have everything that I need. Or damn, my kids have everything that I need. And I really haven't. You be like, you'll be looking at, I haven't worked so hard in this long. You know what I'm saying? I know God is working for me at the end of the day. And then knowing your own worth. This week, you will, you will be learning that you know your own worth at the end of the day. You feel me? Collective. Someone rising in Venus. Whatever. I said someone rising in Venus. Um, I hope that resonated. I hope that it was a good me, me for you guys. Like I said, I hope you guys, look, give with gratitude and grace. You feel me? Give unto others as you give unto yourself. Give unto yourself as you give unto others at the, at the end of the day. Take however you want to. But this is your girl, Spiritually Black, coming to you to land with another Me Me Monday, okay? For September the 20th until September the 25th. I hope that resonated with somebody. I hope somebody got some type of advice, some type of inspiration, some type of laugh, because you know your girl is funny. I'm here to help and heal, okay? Like I was saying, it might be a rough day, but it's not going to be a rough night, okay? Peace unto you. I want you guys to continue to grow, glow, move, groove. Please don't forget to like the video, thumbs the video up, comment if the content fits for you, share the video. Thanks for the new people that comes on to the video. Thanks for the ones that have been following me since day one. I appreciate all the love and the affection, and I hope y'all guys have a wonderful week, okay? Peace unto you, your homegirls, and...